This is Lucas. Lucas looks after the automation of a company. Industry 4.0 and IIoT are the future. Everyone is saying that now. Those who don't digitalize now will miss the boat and will be lost in the future competition. Lucas got the order from his boss to digitalize the company. He should make suggestions about what should be done and how this can be implemented. But what exactly does digitalization mean for his company? This is not so easy. He knows a lot about technology, but the theory of Industry 4.0 is usually quite abstract and cannot be easily transferred to a real company, so that it would be immediately clear where to start. With IIoT, the company should earn money with new business models. Even if Lucas has his own ideas about this, who can tell him whether these business models also work and how long it will take to get there? Should he call in external specialists to analyze the business and program a solution that gets quite expensive right away? And how does he know that the external consultants understand his business well enough to implement a solution that will bring the money back? What if the project turns out to be a complete flop? Lucas ponders, what does digitalization really mean? If we should profit from digitalization, I have to be able to produce more cheaply in the future and my production must be able to switch to new products more quickly and easily. How do I get there? I have to get rid of all the manual work between IT and the automation level. Wherever data is still read out by a human today and has to be retyped in another software, this has to go. Data must be automatically written by IT to the OT and vice versa. Processes and IT applications can trigger functions that copy such data. Such tasks are still often done by hand today and they have to automate them. Protocols and interfaces such as OPC UA can be seen like the tools. Digitalization is when I start working with these tools and then I have to be able to hand over these tasks to a robot. For instance, I have to program them out. A whole series of tasks come to my mind. A production process has to be commissioned from ERP, that's the Enterprise Resource Planning, to production. The details for a production order must be read from the ERP and from another database. Then the end of a production process must be reported to the ERP. I have parameter sets that I have to copy from the master PLC to various slaves. At another point I would like to automatically print out measurement reports and then store these measurement reports on the archive server. This measurement data must also be stored for statistical evaluation and for the audit trail. I need an automatic central distribution of time scheduler programs to external PLCs. I need to collect production data. From this production data, we can calculate so-called KPIs, that's key performance indicators. For instance, things like machine availability, defective parts, and so on. I have to visualize these KPIs and record them in a database. We also have to monitor and lock energy consumption. Send emails when there is a problem. I would like to monitor inventory levels and automatically place orders. These orders must of course be entered and filed in the accounting department. Deliveries can be scanned in upon a receipt and stock levels can be automatically updated. For our subtenants in the company, I need automatic billing due to their consumption values. Of course, I have to monitor all of the automatic processes and enter errors in a log so that I can quickly see where the problem is coming from when troubleshooting. It is very helpful if I can supervise third-party systems with a watchdog. If I can automate all of these things, then not only do I have a lot less work, but I also have the basis to be able to implement all the new business models. But where nobody thinks about it. This digitalization is only useful if the company becomes really more flexible, if it can react faster to new requirements. If an external specialist is needed for every change in the machine park, automation or product range, things get much more complicated. And when things get complicated, at some point nothing works. Like this, I achieve exactly the opposite of what I originally wanted. So what do I need? I need a tool 
that speaks my language, which can be programmed like my PLC and the visualization for it. I need a tool that already knows my data point on the PLCs, a tool with which I can communicate with the interfaces of the IT people and the cloud, a tool where I can integrate the APIs and interface functions that the IT people give me. A tool which gives me the opportunity to connect modern script languages like Node.js, Python, PHP and c -sharp and their respective libraries. A tool which controls and locks all involved, involved procedures, calls and processes so that I can understand where and where something is not working. If I had such a software, I could do the whole development myself. And whenever I don't know my way around, I ask the IT developer to give me a function or an API in his software that I can use to read and write data from it. That's when Lucas discovered Spider Control. The Spider Control i4.0 integration suite offers all these functions. The Spider Control's CADA server contains all common drivers for communication with PLCs the control level and operation via a standard HTML5 browser. The Spider Control HMI editor allows for the simple design of my HTML5 user interfaces, which are used for all UI tasks, SCADA control system, operator panels for on-site operation, remote access with the browser and visualization of KPIs, alarm lists and trends. The Spider PLC and the i4.0 integration library the Spider PLC allows for the programming of functional block description directly via an HTML5 browser. The i4.0 integration library contains a large number of functional blocks with which the tasks described before can be implemented very easily. Communication with REST APIs, MQTT, HTTP, screen dumps, generating PDF, sending emails, FTP transfers, string manipulation, copy files, read and write CSV variable files, logging, create and edit variables, namespaces, call and monitor external processes, etc. These function blocks are now connected directly to the process variables. The Spider PLC starts and monitors script engines such as Node.js and Python so that your own scripts can be integrated and called via a functional block. With Spider Control, Lucas can now build an i4.0 infrastructure step by step himself. The costs remain transparent and manageable. The risk of failure is also much lower because Lucas can judge for himself which functions are useful and which are not. Once the data is recorded and the functions are available, the connection to the cloud is only one functional block away. With the Spider Control i4.0 integration suite, Industry 4.0 and iIoT become a task that can be implemented step by step with the existing staff. The digital infrastructure is built up without any risk with manageable, calculable cost so that new business models can be gradually tested and improved on the market on this basis.